Do you think I can create a SEO content brief in one minute? Let's have a look. All right, so the topic will be what is a content brief? Let's start the brief creation. In the first element, write a directive. I have pre-filled information, so it's good for me. And I will hit the chat GPT uh, button to analyze the search intent. So through sending information about the SERP to chat GPT, and then based on this information, uh, it is generating a SERP intent analysis that you can share with your writer. I add it to my brief. The same for the title as well. Here we'll get title suggestion. So ChatGPT get information from the SERP, the best uh, titles there, and then is providing us unique ideas for our uh, content brief. So I will pick the first one. The same for the description here. Same story, ChatGPT get all the description from the SERP and based on that, you can create again, unique description with a nice click to action in the description and pick the one you like for your brief. Slug, by default, I keep this one. Number of words, I pick the top 10. Article type, I would say it's a blog post. Tone, friendly. Okay, outline now. So here I have different options. I can keep the default one, or I can as well ask again, ChatGPT to generate one. So here to generate a nice uh, detailed outline with H1, H2, some information, etc. for my writer. And um, as you can see, it's generating something quite complete, comprehensive with what is a content brief, why a content brief is important, what should a content brief include, obviously, and then it's providing, providing some information about what we could include in the brief. So a lot of great information for our writers. I think this is the longest part of the brief creation, right? Waiting for ChatGPT. So let's wait few seconds yeah i'm already above one minute i hope you are still here by the way because uh, it's really uh important that you stay until the end but you have to wait for chat gpt now okay i apply all right and then i move on most frequent question i keep by default the top topics i keep them surf inside i keep it computer analysis i keep it food for source uh relevant information to share with my writer okay perfect the brief is done we can now share it how long we, did we take? Okay, maybe two minutes, not one, sorry. I was lying uh, in my video, but well, as you can see, you can create in a fast way, a comprehensive uh, content brief with goal and directive, search intent. Here you have the article summary, the outline, the most frequent questions, some topics. And it's also if you click on a topic, you can see uh, how the page ranking on the SERP are speaking about this topic, some SERP insights and competitor analysis. So great, and find at the end also some article to share with our writer. So great, so now let's go back and uh, we'll take our time to have a look at how to create a brief uh, with through. So here, the first block, write a directive, uh, helps you to share some directive, obviously, with your writer. As you can see here, the default text, yes, you can create template and have boilerplate text. So that's why it was already here for me. So if you reuse uh, the same template for one client or for one specific project, you can create your own template and have a uh, boilerplate, boilerplate text inside. Yes, just to help you, help you uh, get started faster. The same the audience was already here because yes, it's already the same project. So I can define my audience with a, yeah, with a default one. Region the same. And then the search intent here, as I said, um, we sent information to ChatGPT, so SERP analysis or SERP data basically to ChatGPT and uh, we ask him to generate a, a search intent analysis. So telling us what is a search intent. So here, for instance, informational, then as well telling us what could be the next step in the customer journey. So we speak about the customer journey and as well it analyzing the websites uh, ranking there to tell us basically how we could structure our own content. So for instance, he's saying there is step-by-step -step instruction and while content are only focused on the importance of content brief. So you see already you get some interesting uh, information for your own article. So I recommend to hit this button. Then article summary, what you can do, you can ask ChatGPT or as well, you can just browse your uh, the competitor, the page ranking on the SERP. 
you can pick uh, one from here directly and adapt it based on your need. The same for the, for the description. We saw the ChatGPT way, but you can still go back and have a look at, uh, at the SERP and pick the description you like, and then just adapt it to your need. For the slug, by default, uh, it choose a keyword, you can change it. Target work count, you can pick the top three, the top 10, or just put 3000. Up to you, you decide what, what is your target work count. Article type here, you have different choice. Up to you, blog post, listicle. The tone is your tone. You define the tone of your content. And then for the outline, again, here, I will remove this. You have different options. You have, let's say, the classic way. You can go and browse your competitor and start clicking on the different H2, H3s and picking the best one. You can start to organize your uh, outline like this by uh, also looking at the most frequent headings or the most frequent questions. And like this, you can easily create an outline based on your competitor. Then if you start this way, what you could do, you can basically ask also uh, for a rephrase. So hit the rephrase outline action and then what it will do, it will keep this structure, but just rephrase it. So basically, you keep the same structure, but with, with different yeah, different uh, words, basically, right? And then you can apply it. Or as we see, there is two options. Either you can generate outline uh, based on the keyword. So keyword outline is only sent to ChatGPT, the, the main keyword, so nothing else. And then ChatGPT will be free to create outline based on this knowledge, right, of the topic. Or you can send SERP information. So the SERP outline will send the most frequent headings uh, to ChatGPT. Uh, and then ChatGPT, based on this information, will generate a, a unique outline structure. So you have several options here. Feel free to use uh, all of them to try and mix different approach. Finally, the most frequent question, again, automatically fetch uh, from the SERP. The top topics also, you can add more topics. You can look at what are the most important topics uh, used by your uh, by the competitor. So here you can also add more topic to the brief. So you can indicate to your writer, use this topic. You include these topics in the article. Finally, I think it's always important as well to share some insights or statistics or metrics about the SERP. So here you can see some key information, words, on average, images, page rank, uh, last update, etc. As well, competitor analysis. So here it's an extract of the SERP uh, for your writer with the page rank, words, and images, and page type. And finally, as well, automatically fetched the top article to read and the top resources to read. So like this, you see in a few clicks and a few minutes, uh, you can create an uh, uh, outstanding uh, um, brief and then you see you have here a public version that you can share with the writer it's a nice uh, user-friendly public version with all the information that you collected previously as well you can export everything as a doc if you like so you see it's so easy to create content brief through now it's your turn you can start for free have a try and create awesome content brief for your writers